eventually, if they... Now, this six-year-old had a, um... Had a violent history of attacking students and teachers in and outside of school. So, that disability, even though he has ADHD, if he, uh... If he ever grows up and he, you know, like, wants to become, like, some kind of a violent criminal, um, then he's going to have uh, a real difficult time living. And he might have to spend the rest of his time in prison after, you know, once he gets to that legal age, like, when he commits a crime. He will have to, um, he will probably have to spend the rest of his life in prison after he gets to that legal age. So, if he committed a crime after the age of 18, or, you know, even maybe in his teens, years, what, say like 15, then he'll have to answer for his own um, criminal actions himself. And it won't be um, his mother and father taking responsibility for what he's done once he's at the age of 15 or 18. He'll have to answer for himself. And Deja Taylor... Um, is expected to serve at least 25 years in prison because of what the six-year-old did according to what was said on the 13 News Now. That's what that's what was expected for Deja Taylor to be serving at least 25 years in prison. And she's had a use of marijuana while in the possession of a firearm. And she lied about the 9mm gun she's purchased and the paperwork. The 9mm guns paperwork. The documents. The court document says that she lied about that. So. Deja Taylor has been in. Is going to be. Uh, pretty much. She's pretty much. I guess. Spending at least. Half of her life in prison. Like. 25 years. I guess now there are like lawyers and prosecutors that are saying that that argue that she should serve less. And it's not her fault what this, what her son did, but <clears throat> she takes full responsibility for what her son did, and the son was under a care plan at the school and they weren't in school that day with him <clears throat> because the six-year-old was taking medication to help him with his ADHD and the school didn't require his parents to be with him <laughs> and <clears throat> he was talking about the day before that he, he um, you know, felt like he was being ignored by his first grade teacher that he decided to <clears throat> that one day go up and ask Abigail Warner something and Abigail Warner said go fix go um Go sit, sit back down at your seat. And he threw his hands up and he said, fine. Fine. And then he slammed the 
I believe he slammed the phone down on the ground that of Abigail Warner. Taking Abigail Warner's phone and slamming it on the ground so hard that the screen cracked and shattered. And that probably was the point where he just drew that 7 millimeter handgun and shot Abigail Warner in the hand first and then the abdomen. <coughs> and that's where Deja Taylor is taking full responsibility for what her child has done. Her six-year-old child, she's taking full responsibility for what has happened. Deja Taylor is expected to serve at least 25 years in prison. And if it's less than that, although I'm very sure that there could be like some kind of judge that could lessen, may, may lessen the number of years that she has to serve in prison and the six-year-old I think would need like some proper you know like discipline about using firearms in school and you know just like what your parents would tell you the world doesn't the world doesn't The world doesn't revolve around you. The world... The whole entire world isn't about you. It's not about you. And, you know, the problem with little kids is sometimes they just can't, you know, learn to be patient. And that's when, you know, I think they get... They just get, like, so mad or angry with the person that they just want to decide to just do something about it. Like, you know, hurt them in some kind of way. Just to grab their attention. And, you know, it's bad for harming any kind of individual. Just because you won't get the attention you want when you ask a question. It's a very, very bad habit that some minors have. And the six-year-old got angry with Abigail Warner one day. And he just, I think he just, you know... Felt so angry that he wanted to do something about it that day. And. When he slammed that phone. On the ground. Off of. Abigail Warner's hand or. Desk. He may have drawn that. Nine millimeter handgun from. His pocket that same day and shot. Abigail Warner through the hand and the abdomen. And the lesson here is when if you don't get your attention from somebody immediately when you want to ask an important question you don't want to do any harm to the other person because like any physical harm because then what's going to happen is most of the time you're just going to get yourself into some serious trouble. And <clears throat> last thing I'm going to say in this video, this is Charles Morris. Have a good day. And, you know, the whole world isn't about you. It's not about anybody. It's about, you know, caring about others, not just yourself. 
So if you if you ask a question and you don't get your attention right away, you don't want to hurt the other person physically. That's just going to get you in some serious trouble. And it doesn't matter who you are, minor or not, it can get you in some serious trouble. And if you physically harm another person, you get yourself into some serious trouble. And I know a minor could get their parents into trouble by doing something like that. But once you get to that legal age of going to prison, when you physically harm somebody, then it won't be your parents going to prison for something like stupid like that. It would be you yourself. Because once you're at that legal age of going to jail after physically harming somebody, you are the one yourself that's going to take responsibility after you've been at that legal age of going to prison. And if you're proven guilty of hurting somebody when you're at that legal age of going to prison, then people can feel sorry for you. But then again, they're going to be very, very upset and angry with you once you prove guilty. This is Charles Morris. Have a good day. I will see you on my next video. Again, the whole entire world is not about you. It's about others. Have a good day. I will see you on my next video. And the last thing I want to say is you don't get your attention right away. Don't physically harm somebody because that is going to get you into some serious trouble. <clears throat> and you're going to feel guilty when you perform some kind of physically harming action on another person. Have a good day. I'll see you on my next video.